News 13 has confirmed federal and state health inspectors are at Mission Hospital following the release of a 384-page report highlighting issues inside the facility. Mission has submitted a plan to correct those issues, but this evening, a former ER doctor who served at Mission says he doubts they will solve the problem. News 13's Kimberly King reports. Dr. Alan Lawler worked 27 years as an ER doctor here at Mission and other affiliated hospitals across Western North Carolina. He says HCA's proposed corrective action does not address the single most critical issue he says contributed and caused patients' deaths. Everybody in the community should be afraid that they're going to go to this hospital and get care that is not optimal. Dr. Alan Lawler is a UNC Chapel Hill Med School educated doctor who feels HCA's action plan completely misses the mark when it comes to addressing patient deaths. They talk very, very little about increasing staffing and hiring more nurses and hiring more techs and CNAs. One case cited involved a male with meningitis he says put on IV meds in the ER. The nurse was so overwhelmingly busy that the bag of IV medicine to raise the blood pressure ran out. He later died in the hospital. The report, he says, details a male patient with chest pain. Lawler says because of understaffing, the patient remained on a stretcher. Two hours after he arrived in the ER, his heart stopped and he died. Lawler says the report details a female patient. She had left arm and leg weakness and facial droop. He says she presented with stroke-like symptoms. She just delivered a baby 10 days ago. She was one of the sickest patients in the ER because the ER was so hopelessly understaffed. The nurses couldn't even get to her for two hours and 45 minutes. The woman did survive. The doctor reviewed HCA's plans to address issues. A lot of what they talk about is closed loop communication. And he says improving supervision. That's like Teams or Zoom. The doctor says there's only a brief mention of adding staff. He applauds the efforts of all staff in mission and hopes someday relatives of those devastated by cases cited will go public. The families of these patients should be outraged. HCA prioritizes money instead of putting enough nurses in the ER. State Senator Julie Mayfield and other former mission doctors will hold a news conference tomorrow to react to the proposed plan and give their input on why they feel the proposal falls short. Reporting from Mission, Kimberly King, News 13. Well, we went this way. And Mission released a statement this afternoon saying we are pleased that CMS accepted our plan of correction and we will continue to collaborate with the surveyors through this process. We are